The airstrikes hit different parts of the tense region near the border with Israel, with local TV stations reporting that some of the airstrikes reached the eastern Baqa Valley. An Israeli military spokesperson posted on social media platform X that Israel's air force was currently attacking Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. The airstrikes came a day after heavy exchanges along the border, as well as a rare Israeli airstrike on a Beirut southern suburb that killed 31 people, including a top Hezbollah commander. Smoke was seen rising in northern Israel on Saturday as tensions between Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah increased. On Friday, Israel claimed the death of a senior Hezbollah military official after a rare Israeli airstrike in Beirut killed at least 31 people and wounded dozens more, shortly after Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets. The strikes are part of a new cycle of escalation between the enemies that has raised fears of a full-out war erupting in the Middle East, particularly after two separate attacks in Lebanon in which communication devices exploded simultaneously around the country, reportedly killing 37 people and injuring more than 3,400 others. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire regularly since Hamas' October 7 assault on southern Israel ignited the Israeli military's devastating offensive in Gaza. <laughs> Huge plumes of smoke billowed over Kfar Seir village in southern Lebanon on Thursday as Israeli shelling intensified along the Lebanese border. A video obtained by the Associated Press showed large plumes of smoke rising from a forest in Kfar Seir. Lebanon has been on the brink of all-out war with Israel for the past year, with Israel and Hezbollah trading fire and Israeli warplanes breaking the sound barrier over Beirut almost daily, terrorizing people in their homes and offices. Hezbollah began striking Israel almost immediately after Hamas' October 7 attack that sparked the war in Gaza.